everybody again for tuning in to another episode of the Hood Paralegal Podcast. This episode is part of the Protective Brand segment. It's going to be focused on financial literacy and, you know, tips to raise your credit score. Just speaking on your credit score, period, and how to protect yourself and your finances. It's going to be a couple, like three, four part segments, so bear with me, you know. So to start off, according to myfico.com, these are the credit score ranges and what they mean for you as a potential borrower. Now, FICO stands for Fair Isaac Corporation, which is a nonprofit financial institution. And FICO score ranges of 300 to 580. That's considered a poor rate and a poor credit score. And how they describe it is they say your score is well below the average of U.S. consumers and demonstrates to lenders that you are a risky borrower. Now, the scores of 580 to 669 is considered fair. And they describe it as your score is below the average of U.S. consumers, and most lenders consider this a good score. Now, the score of 670 to 739, that's considered a good rating, and which means your score is near or slightly above the average of U.S. consumers, and most lenders consider this a good score. The score of 740, the 799 is considered very good and they describe it as your score is above average and of the U.S. consumers and it demonstrates to lenders that you are a very dependable borrower. Now the max score of 800 to 850, excuse me, the max score is 850 and they can describe that it is it's very exceptional and it says your score is well above the average score of U.S. consumers and clearly demonstrates to lenders that you are an exceptional borrower. Now, just to give a basis of your credit score and how I work in your credit report. Now, your credit report is considered your money transcript. Your credit report is a detailed record of your financial history and public records. Your credit report will reveal any credit-related event connected to your name and your Social Security number. So all, you always got to protect your Social Security number and your identity. This includes credit cards, mortgages, payment history, bank royalties, liens, collections, and more. And it will also include inquiries made about your credit worthiness. Now, your credit score is considered your, GP, your, G, your GPA, similar to the number generated by averaging your grades all through high school. Your credit score is reduced when all information from your credit report is run through an algorithm to generate a number. It's like a GPA, your financial choices over the last few years. Like a GPA from school, the more grades you have, the credit the great credit choices when you apply for a loan or make an on time or late credit payment, etc., the harder it is to improve your average, even with new grades. Now, a higher credit score means that you are considered a lower risk borrower who is likely to repay debt. On the flip side, a low credit score means you are in a high risk bar situation and you may not be able to repay the debt. And that's how these companies are looking at you with your credit history. Now, the credit rules, which is considered the teachers, credit rules are like teachers who give your grades, which were based on performances in class. In this case, in class with credit, which really means that credit brewers are the agencies that collect information about all of us to generate our credit report and score. Now the big three in the industry are Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. And these three also offer, every year you can order your free credit report free from all three of the big threes. And I advise everyone to do it because you never know when people, it's a lot of identity that are going on, especially now, so you got to stay on point and check your credit, and that's part of protecting the brand. Now, when it comes to your credit, you want to focus your efforts on where you will make the biggest gains first, but you may also have to rely on small jumps stretched out over a longer period of time. How quickly your score rises is super specific to you because of your past grades and your credit choices. Now, the trick with credit is to stay ready so you don't have to get ready, meaning get your credit fixed now. So it's there when you really need it because that dream house won't wait for you to get your credit repaired. Now you have to get proactive with the five components that make up our credit score so they can work in your favor. Now the five components of your credit report 
correspond to the following five dudes. And I'm going to break down a little bit of, you know, the percentages and how they break and determine your credit score. Now, you got to check your, what you need to do first is check your payment history. And your payment history is considered 35% of your credit score. Second, reduce your amounts owed and improve credit utilization. And that's considered 30% of your score. You know, you got to protect your credit inquiries, and that's considered 10% of your score. Number four, build the length of your credit history. And that's considered... All calls years. other than properly placed attorney calls may be monitored and recorded. Yeah, the length of your credit history is considered 15% of your score. And number five is manage your credit mix, and that's 10% of your score. Now, as far as checking your payment history, which is 35% of your score, no matter what score model your lender uses, payment history has the biggest impact on your credit. This means there's a lot of potential here to increase your score. Payment history is mostly about your ability to pay your bills on time. If you consistently pay your bills on time in the past, this is seen as a good indicator of whether you pay your bills in the future. In addition to whether you pay on time, credit bureaus are also looking to see how you pay and how much you pay in full or just the minimum. Now, it's your job to ensure that there are no inaccuracies that would make otherwise positive information appear negative. This entails you to look at your actual credit report at least once a year and check in to see what's right or wrong. Now, according to a study conducted by the Federal Trade Commission, one in five people have an error on at least one of their credit reports. So get your latest credit, your latest credit reports for free. Now, keep in mind that the activity within the most recent 12 months has the biggest impact on your score. What happened between a year and two years ago is the next most important time period and so on to your credit history from four or five years ago, that far back, isn't really going to have as much of an impact on your score as the most recent activity. Now, this last statement, last topic that I want to hit on is just some tips on how to dispute any item on your credit report that they have that, you know, that's negative and a negative or, you know, accounts that you had no idea about if you noticed some identity theft or whatever it may be. Now, if you looked into your credit report and found something that's wrong, you need to contact both the credit bureau and the entity that supplied the wrong info that populated your credit report. Now, here's some instructions on how to dispute your credit viewer via the credit bureau or the entity that gave the wrong info, the bank, your landlord, or the credit card company, etc. First, explain in writing what you think is wrong, why, and include copies of the documents that support your dispute. Now, if you mail a dispute, your dispute letter should include your contact information for you, including your complete name, address, and telephone number. Now, clearly identify each mistake, such as an account number for any account you may be disputing. Explain why you are disputing the information. Request the information to be removed or corrected. And last but not least, enclose a copy of the portion of your credit report that contains the disputed items and circle or highlight the disputed items. You should include copies of documents that support your position. If you send your letter of dispute to credit report companies by certified mail, make sure to ask for a return receipt so you have a record of that the letter will receive. It's best to have the paper trail so you, in case you need to escalate your dispute with an attorney or if the dispute violates the, violates the Fair Credit Reporting Act, which is the law that helps to make sure there's accuracy, fairness, and privacy of the information in your credit bureau files. Now, one last tip I want to put out there is try to settle. Like, if you have a outstanding debt or whatever it may be, one tip you can try and attempt to do is to try to settle on the collection that has been reported and may be dragging your credit down, meaning offer a partial payment to satisfy the debt in exchange for deletion of the debt from your credit report. For example, if you have a $1,000 car balance that you defaulted on, you can offer $400 in exchange for this negative item to be removed. It's totally up to the creditors, but they are not obligated to do it, but it's always worth to try. And that completes the episode for today. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in again to another week of the Hood Prayer League Podcast. And we appreciate all the supporters and continue to protect the brand and order your free credit reports because you need to know what's going on with your finances. You cannot protect the brand if you don't know what's going on with your money. And we're going to continue this next week, you know, further hitting into it. It's going to take, like I said, it's going to be a couple of segments, you know. And 
hey, I'm here. Anything hood paralegal can do to assist you with these inquiry letters or drawing them up, please reach out. And thank you, everybody. Have a blessed week and success to you. And it's one last note, one last quote, and Jewel, I'll leave. And if you're around people that's toxic or, or not speaking life into your situation, remove yourself out of their situation because all they can do is weigh you down. I love y'all and have a blessed week.